वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दुलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मिलमैन्स थियरम इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर फर्स्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज मिलमैन्स थियरम आफ्टर दैट आई एल गिव यू प्रूफ ऑफ मिलमैन्स थियरम सो लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट व्हाट इज मिलमैन्स थियरम यू सी इफ यू हैव अ सर्किट इन विच रजिस्टर इन सीरीज विथ वोल्टेज सोर्स इज कनेक्टेड लाइक दिस right in parallel combination then equivalent network of this that will be resistance in series with voltage right and if you want to have value of this voltage source then that value of voltage source that will be v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus up to vn yn divided by y1 plus y2 plus up to yn right so here y1 is what 1 by resistance r1 y2 is what 1 by resistance r2 and yn is what 1 by resistance rn so y1 y2 yn those are admittances now if you wanted to have the value of r then the value of r that will be 1 divided by y1 plus y2 plus up to yn so this is what milvan's theorem right now let me explain you the basic proof of this milvan's theorem so to have basic proof of this milvan's theorem what i'll be doing is i'll be having thevenin's equivalent circuit and what is thevenin's equivalent circuit thevenin's equivalent circuit is rth in series with vth right so that is my thevenin's equivalent circuit where this is terminal a and this is terminal b now what is thevenin's equivalent voltage so thevenin's equivalent voltage that will be voltage at load provided load is open circuited right so vth voltage that is a voltage over here and to find vth load should be removed means open circuited voltage that we need to measure at load means at terminal a b so i can say vth that is what voltage at this node now at this node as if you want to calculate vth then i can apply nodal analysis but before that i should be considering direction of current randomly so you see what i am doing is i am considering direction of current i1 i2 up to in right so if you apply nodal analysis at vth then entering current is equals to leaving current and if you observe here all the currents are leaving current so i can say i1 plus i2 plus up to in that is equals to 0 now what is the value of i1 i1 is tail voltage minus head voltage so tail voltage is vth minus head voltage is v1 divided by resistance r1 plus what is i2 tail voltage minus head voltage that is vth minus v2 divided by r2 that is i2 and what is in that is tail voltage minus head voltage tail voltage is vth minus head voltage is vn divided by rn which is in current now if you want to simplify this then you see if you take vth by r1 vth by r2 vth by rn that is over one side then vth will be common from it and you will be having 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus up to 1 by rn over here and this minus v1 by r1 minus v2 by r2 minus vn by rn on other side then you will be having v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 plus up to vn by rn on other side right so we can have equivalent thevenin's voltage 
and that will be so you just see i have just divided this term with this to get vth now to have bit more resolution in this what we'll be doing is i'll be considering admittance so i'm saying y1 is admittance of r1 so y1 is 1 by r1 y2 is admittance of r2 so y2 is 1 by r2 likewise up to yn that is admittance of rn so that is 1 by rn and let us substitute this in this equation so we'll be having vth that will be v1 y1 plus v2 y2 plus up to vn yn divided by y1 plus y2 plus up to yn right so this is our equivalent thevenin's voltage here and you see that is what the millman's equivalent voltage as i have said it earlier right now let us try to identify the value of rth in thevenin's circuit so let me take this circuit again now when you want to measure rth for independent source then all the independent source with voltage source that should be short circuited and rth will be resistance measured from this direction and all these voltage sources that should be short circuited so you see i'm just doing short circuit of this voltage sources so i can say now rth that is parallel combination of all this right so for parallel combination i need to say 1 by rth that is equals to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus up to 1 by rn right and based on this i can have rth right and you see i have already explained that 1 by r1 that is y1 so i can say this is y1 plus y2 plus up to yn so rth that is 1 divided by this and that is y1 plus y2 plus up to yn so this is our equivalent thevenin's resistance so you see that is this right so based on thevenin's theorem i have explained how we can prove millman's theorem in next few videos i'll explain you some examples based on millman's theorem so it will resolve your understanding furthermore